welcome back. We are now going to see the first use of the property entropy and for that we go back to the Clausius inequality, the full inequality part. Let us consider a process. I am not qualifying this process by saying that it is quasi static or reversible or anything. Let me sketch the process as a general process between state 1 to state 2. Let me just sketch it as this process. So, when I say process 1, 2, this is the process that I am going to talk about. Now, let me complete and create a cycle by connecting 2 and 1 by a reversible process. So, 1 to 2, 1 dash dash 2 is a process, any process from 1 to 2, whereas 2 a 1 is some reversible process. So, it can be executed as 2 a 1, it can also be executed as 1 a 2 in the reversed form. Now, we note that 1 to 2 followed by 2 a 1 is a cycle, but since the 1 to 2 part we do not know in any detail, it is not qualified as reversible it need not be a reversible cycle. Hence, for this cycle, the Clausius inequality would apply in its general form 1, 2, back to A, 1. Let us split this as integral of d q by t from 1 to 2 this is over the process 1, 2 as shown in the figure plus 2 a 1, but we notice that this part pertains to a reversible process. Hence, I should write this as reversible and then we note that this is related to the entropy difference between state 2 and state 1. The second part it is a reversible process starting from 2 ending at 1. So, this is going to be S 1 minus S 2. This is definition of entropy and combining this with the previous relation, we will get integral 1 to 2 d q by t plus S 1 minus S 2 is less than or equal to 0. Now, let me do one thing, let me transpose S 1 minus S 2 to the right hand side, I will get integral 1 to 2 d q by t is less than or equal to S 2 minus S 1 and flipping the two sides, I will get S 2 minus S 1 is greater than or at most equal to integral 1 to 2 d q by t. This relation is known as the entropy inequality or quite often called the entropy principle. It says that the change in entropy for any process must always exceed or at most be equal to this integral d q by t over the process if we are able to evaluate it. And remember as always that this equal to sign pertains to the reversible case. If the process is reversible, then this equality will hold. If the process is adiabatic, we will have d q equals 0 throughout the process and hence we will get S 2 minus S 1 to be greater than or equal to 0. This is known 
as the principle of increase of entropy for an adiabatic process. Notice that this principle of increase of entropy pertains only to an adiabatic process. We should never forget the fact that it is conditional. It is for an adiabatic process and that in general in a process the entropy may increase or decrease. It will definitely increase or it will definitely not decrease if it is an adiabatic process. Again here we should remember that this equality pertains to a reversible process. That means if it is an adiabatic process and if it is a reversible process then the change in entropy over that process will be 0. Thank you.